Hello, welcome to LEV Toys, and welcome to a new episode of Modern Day Princess Apartments, where we build an apartment for a modern day princess. So, exactly what it says in the text there. And the princess this week who gets a modern apartment is, you probably already guessed it, it is Belle this time. So we need to, well first up we need to casualize her. Let's get her out of her uncomfortable ball gown and let's put her in some modern, more comfortable clothes. I already made her a comfy outfit which was Wreck-It Ralph inspired but I didn't really like it a lot for her. So she's getting a brand new outfit today. She's going to wear this sunshiny yellow skirt which is just gorgeous and this top which matches, I had to do it because it has a rose on it. Right, so that's just perfect. So let's pinch her head off her ball gown and let's put her on her, yes, very, very much a modern day princess outfit. If we can just get her hair straight, which still isn't straight, we'll take her ball gown away and let's choose a color scheme for her new apartment. Now, I want her apartment to be cozy, but still contemporary. So I thought we might use some brickwork pieces like this, but we're gonna use a lot of white to make it still fresh looking and we'll accent it up with some of the darker brown too to add the cozy and we're going to make this pink one of her main colors but we're going to accent it with this dark pink with magenta and of course we're going to need lots of glass work everywhere so lots of glass to add light and different shades of yellow not too many different shades of yellow but a couple of different shades of yellow because yellow is very much her thing including a translucent yellow and we're going to also have accents of gold so let's see whether that's not too busy not lots and lots of colors and of course we're going to need roses in this because that's very important for Belle's story and of course we're going to need books we are going to need look lots of books like so many books so here's the first book we'll call that our starter book let's get everything else out of the way and let's start well I thought actually today we would start with Belle's bedroom this is going to be the second level so like the loft area so rather than starting on the bottom floor which is what we've done with Ariel's and with Rapunzel's modern apartments we're going to start on the second level with the bedroom and we're going to leave this space over here empty because that's where the stairs are going to come up and I'm going to try and stick these panels together a bit with a rug we're actually going to start with a floor rug because I want to try and hold some of these loose base plates together and I've got a really pretty sticker here to use as the middle of the rug for her floor we're gonna make this so cozy this bedroom so but of course we've got to start with a rug and we've got to make sure that all of these pieces are held together these base plate pieces because if the floor falls apart it's gonna be catastrophic uh, I really hate it when these don't go straight these little square pieces but that's kind of straight they'll have to do Okay, let's line the edges. We'll start building up the walls. So I'll use this four piece here to actually hold these ones together. And then let's, then let's uh, line the rest with a whole heap of brickwork ones. So we'll just have a single, a single row of brickwork around the bedroom. I'm just making sure they all fit in here where I want them to go. So we're just having to alternate a few little single ones there. Okay windows first I think let's put a couple over here on this side of the room and I don't want to smack them right next to each other so we're going to break them up with a pillar of brickwork in between it's definitely brickwork all these single bricks <laughs> and this one here has an outward facing stud because well you'll find out in a minute I have a plan for that we'll put another window here this window doesn't actually currently have any glass in it which has a reason and I'll tell you that in a moment we're putting a pale yellow pillar here because I wanted to frame a lovely stained glass feature window behind Belle's bed. So if we line all of these translucent, think we'll just straighten them up a bit. All these translucent pink pieces here, we've got some yellow window pieces and this rose stained glass panel, which actually came in one of the small Belle sets. So it's perfect. We'll put some more pink translucent bricks up this side and it's going to look so pretty behind her bed it's gonna let the morning light in it's gonna be so nice let's build the bed so we've got a perfect space here we're actually gonna make the bed really very simple because there's going to be quite a lot of clutter in this room so let's keep the bed nice and plain but comfy and pretty I really really like the pale yellow color and we're accenting it with a slightly darker yellow for the pillows and these brown four plates to sit it up as the legs and there we go bed's done let's check it out for comfort we'll take her rose and her book away and I like when the pillows go in in the middle like that because it means they don't roll off so easily so let's install the bed in front of the beautiful stained glass window 
It just looks lovely. It's so inviting and fresh and yellow and bright and sunshiny. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Over next to the bed here, I think we're going to build, well, we want cozy, right? This is a nice place for her to come and chill out. So let's build a fireplace and we'll make it kind of a mix between modern and contemporary. So we're going to have brickwork on the bottom and we're going to then make a black firebox for it to all be contained in. So let's put the flame in first. We need our stud with a hole in it so we can put the flame in it and then we can put these black glass panels in. I can't put them on the front though. I can't figure out how to do that except for, except it makes it too big. So this is the, this is my compromise. This is how our little, little cozy fireplace up next to the bed is going to be. But I want to put some wall on before I put this in. So let's frame this in yellow, put some more of that smoky glass, maybe another brick higher so you can actually see it. And then we'll, yeah, then we'll line the back of it with the black smoked glass and we'll, uh, we'll frame it with the yellow. I think we need, yeah, I think I want another, another line of brick yellow, <laughs> yellow bricks along the top there. Brick yellow, yellow bricks. Now we can put our white stripe there and I think, yeah, okay, so above here we're going to put a shelf because there's a perfect space there for a shelf and of course she can put her trinkets and books and stuff up here. In fact, books, like why would you want trink trinkets when you've got books? So a shelf, Let's uh, actually let's use this to put her rose up here and let's pile some books up here. It's going to be a problem though. Uh, I'm actually going to blue tack these onto the shelf because otherwise they are going to just fall straight off. And I didn't really want to put them behind the little panel with the front bit because that'll hide the fact that they're books. I just wanted them to look stacked like that. So we're just going to put a tiny bit of blue tack on or sticky tack because this one's not blue. And now they're going to stay on beautifully. <laughs> cheating. I know it's cheating. Now, this little hole over here is going to have some greenery on it. We're going to have climbing roses all around this apartment building. And it's, oh, it's just going to be so, oh, it's going to be so pretty. So if I can, I want to stick this in through our window without the glass. So these, these vines are just creeping everywhere. So the roses are just going everywhere. They're welcome anywhere in this apartment. Uh, let me see. So we need to, I don't know how I'm going to angle that yet, but we're going to put a whole heap of little red flowers on here. I do have a few rose, actual rose flowers. <laughs> so I'm just trying to put these on while everybody's in place. It's a bit hard, but I don't have a lot of them. So I'm going to only use them in some places. All right. That looks, that looks so pretty. It's just, it's creeping in through the window. Oh, that's lovely. She can just lie in the bed and look out at the roses. Some more windows. So another window over in here in this corner, because this corner is going to have a comfy reading chair next to the fireplace. Of course, we're going to need another outward facing stud because we're going to put another matching climbing rose on the outside. So let's do that. I actually want to be able to see the red roses really clearly from the inside. So if I put it, it doesn't actually stick on the stud like that, but I can I can shove a carrot stalk through the holes. Ah, there we go. And now that holds it in place and now it's kind of on backwards, but it works. It's fine. Uh, maybe if I readjust where all these red flowers are, because I kind of want them all poking through. Is that too much red? I can never have too much red. Okay, it looks good. Okay, a comfy chair, a comfy, cozy chair. I, so she's going to come up. She's going to chill out next to her fireplace. She's not going to want to leave this bedroom at all. I, I don't think I'd want to leave this bedroom. It's got a bed. It's going to have oodles of books and it's going to have a comfy reading chair. What else do you want? Apart from maybe, I don't know, donuts. <laughs> okay, comfy chair. Now, we want this piece here with the wings on it because that's going to just look just that little, that, that, that nice tie-in between contemporary but comfy. Uh, and how am I going to put this in? I want it on an angle. So if we just put a single stud down here, I can kind of balance the chair on it and there. And now I can tuck a book in between the fireplace and the chair and she is ready. <laughs> but we're not finished yet. We're not finished here. We need a shelf over here 
and on the shelf is going to be her cup of tea because <laughs> the cup of tea is just you know if she's reading maybe there's big like cold cups of tea everywhere because she starts reading and gets so engrossed in a book and then she forgets to finish her tea <laughs> so i think this one's actually from yesterday that cup of tea there yesterday's tea now she's going to need a reading lamp so we're going to make a nice big overhanging reading lamp so uh, let me see i'm actually trying to use different designs for these different houses so i'm not just making the same thing over and over again and this is actually a paint roller handle and we're going to use this as her overhanging lamp we're going to use a gold lampshade because i want to put those gold accents in here every now and then just to really make it look a bit luxurious because this is still a princess's apartment right even though it's cluttered and cozy it's still it still cost her a lot of money to buy and furnish now we're going to line the top of these walls we're going to hold them all in together with a nice splash of a nice stripe of magenta pink and i'm just making sure that these all go in so that i'm holding all the bricks together so that the walls are really super stable and then i'm going to line it with nice smooth white so we don't have too much color going on up there oh that looks good it looks lovely would you like to try out your comfy chair Belle? i think she should i think she should sit in there but we haven't quite finished her bedroom yet because there is a wonderful space at the front here for a bookcase this is going to be the first of many bookcases because Belle is totally going to have a library in this apartment but a token bookcase for her bedroom let's start that we're going to make it clean white and we're going to use we're going to use an inward facing stud here to actually hold our books on so if we get these little jumper stud plate things and we line them up in a row and if we're alternating the sizes too that looks really cool so this when we put it on our bookcase like this looks like a stack of books or not a stack of books a row of books so let's put a smooth piece underneath them and this one over here's got a jumper stud because i want to put something else on there so look at that isn't that cool it actually looks like a row of books now on the jumper stud i'm just going to i don't want books in every every single bit in here we're going to break it up a bit so let's put a jar over here it'll have something it's something precious for Belle. i don't know what it is you're gonna have to tell me and on the next level up we're gonna use this thicker frame piece and that's because i want to put some real books in this which is a bit tricky because trying to get them to stay in is really hard because they, they're kind of not designed to stick there's no studs so if i put a window piece at the back that's going to kind of stop them from going out the back but my plan is actually just to shove as many of them as i can in make them so tightly packed in that they don't move <laughs> that's my plan let's get all the books that i can find at the moment and there's only a little space so if i use this plate here and i shove that oh actually that oh that's just still a bit too loose that's not going to work at all let's no <laughs> all right let's 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 adapt that let's put in oh let's put in three of the thicker books and then try shoving this plate in that is really a tight fit if i can be able to get this plate in if i can i can get it in and now they are stacked so tightly in there they're not moving i probably actually didn't need that glass on the back of the bookcase at all so that's <laughs> that actually worked I'm, I'm really impressed with that okay on this side we are going to stack up just a whole heap of paperwork or books or uh, i don't know documents all sorts of things just stuff this is her clutter and up here on the top of the bookcase some more little stackable bits of clutter there's a letter up there that she needs to respond to <laughs> hopefully she remembers she put it up there and we'll install that in the corner of the room here there we go she's got the first of her many bookcases she has got a bedroom which actually is a really nice standalone bedroom like this could be totally just i mean why does she need the rest of the house she's got a bedroom with just about everything she needs apart from cookies <laughs> but i we do have to build the rest of this loft apartment and you're going to have to wait to see the rest because i haven't actually finished building it yet but i have so many cool plans this has actually taken over my life this custom build i'm having such a great time with it now the next installment will come very very soon but while you wait make sure you check out ariel's apartment if you haven't seen it and rapunzel's modern apartment i've tried to make sure that all of these are very 
different in style and that they match the princess's personalities as well and color schemes. What else are we going to be putting in Belle's loft apartment? Well, you are going to have to wait and see. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you click like, make sure you hit that little notification bell and I will be back with it soon, I promise, because we're almost there for the next part. <laughs> but keep checking in. We'll, I'll be back very, very soon. So I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.